Let's uh, talk more about this and what may be forcing the rioters onto the streets for the third night running and uh, bring into conversation The Telegraph's London editor, Andrew Gilligan. Andrew, good to see you, and I really mean that tonight because I was just talking to you off air then, and you yourself were very much caught up in this just a little bit earlier on. Tell us about what happened to you. Yes, that's right. I was um, coming back from covering the uh, riots in Tottenham, my route back took me through Hackney, which, as you just heard, is, is a centre of uh, difficulties at the moment. And I was, uh, I was mugged. I was uh, pulled off my bike and uh, my bike was stolen by a gang of, uh, of youths um, on the way to the studio, literally only about 45 minutes ago. I mean, it's difficult when we're detached from it, where I'm detached from it here in Moscow. What is the feeling on the streets in London when you're actually there amongst all this? What's the scale of the well, anger? It's well, I spent most of the day in Tottenham, which is where it all kicked off, um, interviewing people who had lost their homes um, as a result of these riots, and they are furious with the rioters. They say that uh, what happened to Mark Duggan, the man who was shot by police, is absolutely no excuse at all for what happened to them. Um, they blame the police for not being quick enough to contain the trouble in Tottenham in the first place. And quite clearly, what's happening in Hackney and Lewisham and Peckham and Croydon and all the other places where disorder has broken out tonight has absolutely nothing to do with the uh, police shooting of a man uh, 10 miles away in North London. So where uh, is all it's this anger coming? It's purely opportunistic. So where well, is I, all I don't this think anger it is anger. It's not anger at all. I think it's pure criminality, uh, and people are taking advantage uh, and 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 uh, and uh, of of what they see is is a, a lawless situation and uh, an overstretched police force to uh, do their worst and help themselves to free goods. Well, one British MP. I don't stuck think there's anything political about this. One British MP stuck his neck on on the line tonight a bit, I guess, by saying there's no political point to any of this. Uh, people just want some excitement in their lives. Was his quote. How can they be yeah, stopped I, having this kind of excitement then? Well, I, it's difficult. I mean, the trouble is it, it spreads very quickly, this kind of thing. We've seen it, in fact, in the Arab world. We've seen it social media spreading unrest in the Arab world, um, probably for the good there. Uh, but here it's spreading in exactly the same way, arguably for the bad. Um, and uh, there are lots of uh, kids on, on Blackberries and instant messaging and Twitter and all the rest of it spreading the word about where the next ruck is going to be and they might be able to move faster than the police. Um, I think perhaps, I, I mean if this carries on like this it is quite worrying. It does seem to be breaking out in four or five different parts of London. Have the police perhaps got a handle on it tonight? I'm not sure they have, no. Uh, and I think, um, I think, as I say, they were slow to react initially in Tottenham. Um, uh, I think uh, they, they're clearly going to be quite stretched because if this is happening in four or five different places now, it could be 10 or 15 places tomorrow night just, um, or more. Just a final quick thought. I was speaking to a community group leader in London just a bit earlier on. He said this had all been brewing for a long time. Communities felt that they'd been badly treated. Uh, a fair assumption of the real picture, do you think? No, I, I think this is pure criminality. Uh, I don't think there's any political motive at all for this. Uh, they're not attacking the police, they're not attacking official buildings, they're attacking shoe shops and, uh, and businesses and, and stealing whatever they can carry. All right, Andrew Gilligan, uh, Telegraph's London editor, good to see you safe and sound. Thanks for being on the programme tonight. Thanks.